Hello, my name is Kaylin Cartain. Today you're going to be learning about the cell cycle. You might wonder why cells need to divide. Why can't they just grow infinitely until death? And here's your answer. Cells must divide in order to have proper nutrients. If the cell becomes too large, it will not be able to move enough nutrients and waste across the cell membrane. In other words, nutrients need to come into the cell and waste need to come out of the cell in order for it to thrive. And this can be represented by surface area to volume ratio. Interphase. Interphase is all of the cell's life, excluding the four stages of mitosis. There's about three-fourths of the cell's life cycle. Its three phases are the G1 phase, where the cell grows and performs normal activities, the S phase, where DNA is replicated, and another way to say S phase is synthesis phase, and S in synthesis, that's how you can remember what the S phase does, and the G2 phase, where a cell prepares for mitosis. Prophase is the first actual phase of mitosis. During this phase, the cell prepares for nuclear division by breaking down the nuclear envelope. This right here, the dotted circle, is the nuclear envelope, and it's just going to break down during this phase. The chromosomes condense, which are represented by these X's here. The mitotic spindle is formed, and the centrioles, which is this here, moves to opposite sides of the cell. Metaphase is the second stage of mitosis. This is where the chromosomes line up in the middle and attach to the mitotic spindle fibers. These are the chromosomes, and these are the mitotic spindle fibers here. And they attach to the um, centrioles, and this can be referred to as a cellular tug of war. It separates duplicated genetic material carried in the nucleus of a parent cell into two identical daughter cells. Anaphase is the third phase of mitosis. During this phase, the spindle fibers shorten, which are these coming off of the centriole. These are the spindle fibers. They shorten, causing these sister chromatids, which are these, to move to opposite sides of the cell. As you can see, these are represented by like half of an X. They split, and then they move to opposite sides of the cell. Telophase is the next stage. This is where the nuclear envelope reforms. Remember that it was broken down in prophase, and the chromosomes disperse into chromatin. The spindle fibers also dissolve. The spindle fibers coming off of these centrioles dissolve. In other words, the effects of prophase are reversed. Cytokinesis is the last phase. This is where the cell, the parent cell, actually splits into two daughter cells. And Cytokinesis, if you break down the word, it literally means cyto, means cell, and kinesis means movement, which this means that cytokinesis is the splitting of the cell into two cells, is when the daughter cells physically are divided. The final result is two identical daughter cells, and they have pairs of chromosomes, which means they are diploid. This is this represents the cell's life cycle. About 75% of the time it is an interphase. However, mitosis is much more complex. It has all of these stages and much more things are happening. How you can remember this is PMAT. P for prophase, M for metaphase, A for anaphase, and T for telophase. There is also another way to remember all of your stages of the cell's life cycle. And here it goes. Interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, cytokinesis. Thank you.